What's up, guys? Swift here talking about Chicago Bears' new freak linebacker, Tremaine Edmonds. Simply put, he is a generational talent who can do it all. He's young, athletic, smart, and one of the best free agent signings in Bears history. I have watched more than 20 games of film total on Edmonds and a ton of All-22 film. Tremaine is quite simply the best coverage linebacker in the entire NFL. He moves like a safety in coverage and is an absolute freak of an athlete. He has incredible range and freakish blend of size and speed. He hits like a linebacker but moves like a defensive back. He led the entire league in pass deflections in 2022 and had the highest coverage grade in the NFL for a linebacker. He's a 6 foot 5, 250 pounder who can run a 4540 and has 35 inch arm length. Tremaine Edmonds is the third youngest player drafted in NFL history. Also only the second 19 year old ever to be drafted in the first round, the other was a Mobile Koye. Edmonds now becomes one of the youngest players ever to leave via free agency while having multiple Pro Bowls under their belt. The Bears will probably never sign someone in free agency. This young, athletic, and exciting again. It's honestly kind of surprising the move hasn't been talked about a lot more. He is quite simply the best coverage linebacker in the entire league and one of the best linebackers in the league who happens to be insanely athletic and only 24 years old. Think about that. Tremaine Edmonds is more than a full year younger than Valus Jones Jr., who was our third round draft pick last year. Adding a 24-year-old two-time Pro Bowler in free agency is as close to building through the draft as you can get in March. It's very rare to see players this talented even hit free agency, let alone join the Chicago Bears. This move is easily an A+, and the reason I think it's being overlooked is because it happened so close to the DJ Moore trade and polls added a flurry of players once free agency started. There honestly just isn't much downside to this signing. Pessimists will say his PFF and coverage grades weren't elite until this past season, but he was only 20 years old and thrust into a starting role. He has constantly gotten better and in 2022 became the best coverage linebacker in the game. It's possible he hasn't even hit his ceiling yet and should continue getting better. He's only 24 years old. He had an RAS score of 9.74. As a rookie, he was the only player in the entire NFL with 120 plus tackles, 12 plus passes defended, two sacks, two interceptions, and two forced fumbles. He also was the first player in NFL history with two seasons of 100 plus tackles before the age of 21. What makes Tremaine Edmonds so special? When you look at other coverage linebackers in the NFL, they are usually smaller, quicker guys. Edmonds can move just as well as those 220 pound guys, but he's 250 pounds and he's 6'5 with long arms. He's taller with a larger wingspan and it just makes him an elite linebacker that can literally do it all. He moves like a safety in coverage, he goes after the quarterback like a defensive lineman, but he can shed blocks and tackle like a true linebacker. He will help eliminate plays over the middle of the field, he will shut down tight ends and running backs, run with slot receivers, and rush the passer. He's a generational talent at linebacker, but enough talking about it, let's get into the film breakdown and show you about it. All right, so I got a lot to talk about with Tremaine Edmonds here today. The first thing I want to talk about is what makes him special, and it's his coverage ability. This is Tremaine Edmonds in the middle of the screen. Get to know him, number 49. Let's check him out in coverage here. He's going to have Cole Komet coming off right here. He's going to shuffle his feet, mirror what Komet's doing, balls in the air, immediately attacks him. His footwork, his footwork in coverage is just special. Watch here as he attacks Komet, but he's also mirroring, and then he flips his hips. Just watch it here. Nice footwork, flips his hips, 
the whole time he's taking away the pass. Like, you can't get this pass into Komet right here because he's in perfect coverage. Forces him to go another direction with it. Great play here. You can see it a little bit better from this angle here. We'll slow it down. Just watch how he matches Komet. Then he flips his hips the whole time. There's no chance to make a throw to Komet on that side of the field. Beautiful. This one's going to be against the Dolphins. Another deep shot here. Watch as he fakes the blitz. He's going to get back into coverage. This is what he does best right here. He's in zone coverage, right? He's backtracking. He gets his eyes this way. He's checking to see who's getting deep in the seam. And then watch. He's going to flip his hips. Check the quarterback. And then check this way to see if there's anybody getting... Ooh, look at that. Anybody in the seam down here? Yes, I see someone in the seam. Now let's make a play. Holy, watch this. This is just beautiful. He finds the ball in the air. Look at that arm length. He's 6'5", with an 80-inch wingspan and 4'5 speed. Breaks up the pass. Great, great, great job. Honestly, that last play was insane, but let's watch here again. Again, look at him getting deep. The ball gets thrown. He recognizes it. He does. He's not a corner. He's not going to turn around and pick it off. But look at this. Gets his hands up in there. Deflects the pass. He led the league in pass deflections. He does it at the line. He does it downfield. This one gets intercepted, and he's a huge part of it. Just watch how watch how he can run while facing the receiver here. Just mirrors him. You, you can't throw to guys when they're covered by Tremaine Edmonds. Oh, watch his back step here. Shuffling, shuffling. Sees the tight end stop. He's going to burst forward. Make a play immediately when the ball gets there. And then violently throw him to the ground. The ball actually gets knocked out. See the ball here? This one's special. Watch Edmonds in zone coverage here. He's taking away this guy right here, right? Taking away this guy. Taking away this route. But then that opens up this route underneath. Watch him jump that route as well. Oh, you want to throw there? Okay. Oh, right on it. This one's going to be an interception. Watch him in coverage here. You'll see him on. This is Robert Woods. He's guarding down at the bottom of the screen down here. Running stride for stride with Robert Woods. Tips the ball up. Let's his teammate get an interception after another deflection here. This is kind of a little hot potato thing here, but Tremaine Edmonds in coverage. Insane. Watch him here. on. He's going to pick up Adam Thielen on a deep crosser here. Watch him step for step here with Thielen. Matching. Matching. Look at him running with Adam Thielen. This is just beautiful coverage here. You can't throw this ball, Kirk Cousins. Oh, my, but he does. He does throw it because he says, oh, that's a linebacker. Linebacker can't stick with Adam Thielen. But he does. Almost intercepts it. Goes through his hands. Whew. Again, watch Tremaine Edmonds here. Deep zone over the middle of the field. He notices a receiver going by him here. He's going to follow. Hustle. It's that hits philosophy. Watch him here. He flips his hips. Takes off. Sees the ball coming. Sees the receiver go up for the ball. Says now it's time to make a play. Gets there right when the ball does. Perfect timing. Forces a, yet another incomplete pass. Here's where you get to see his crazy athleticism, his coverage skills, and when he puts it all together and just makes a play that makes you go, wow. Dropping back into coverage here with the wide receiver. Throw's going to go short. He's dropping into coverage here, keeping his eyes in front of him the whole time. Eyes are always going to be in front of him. 
watching the play here. As it develops, they don't go deep. They throw it underneath to the running back right here who mishandles it. That's hard to see, but what Tremaine Edmonds just did. Let's watch it from the other angle. Here's the throw right here. You see the running back. He tries to one-hand it, and he just tips it up into the air. And whose eyes are right here? This is Tremaine Edmonds. Watch him go get that ball and get an interception here. This play is insane. Whoop! Oh! Oh, Tremaine. Welcome to Chicago, baby. You want to see him cover Travis Kelsey? All right, we got that too. Here goes Travis Kelsey. I don't know if I've seen anyone cover Travis Kelsey this well. He's literally all over him. Back to the Bears game. You want to see the hits philosophy here? Look at him first off. Look at him how he deep he gets in his drop here. He takes away Dante Pettis. No chance you can make that. But you want to see hits philosophy here. This is one of those plays where Justin Fields rolled out this way. He got in trouble. He got away. He spun back. He comes back this way. And he's going to dump it off to David Montgomery, who's about 25 yards away from Tremaine Edmonds. See how this play ends up here. Tremaine Edmonds right by the ball. Hits philosophy. Eberflus is going to love this guy. His most underrated ability is going to be his ability to shed blocks. Watch here. Riley Reef has no chance. He gets engaged with Riley Reef right here. He's going to shed right off him. Sure. No thanks, Riley Reef. And then he's right here to make a play on the running back. Oh, yes. You love to see it. Watch it from this angle here as he just engages. With a 10-year veteran at offensive tackle, uses his length and athleticism to shed that block. This is what you love to see. And then he's there to make a play. One of the things that helps him shed blocks the most is his length. And you'll see it here on Ryan Griffin. Look how easy he makes this. I mean, he comes up to get a block. Look at those arms. He uses that length. He's going to push right off. And then he's able to make a play if the running back would have got through. Speaking of running backs, though, what does he do to running backs in coverage and in the run game? Watch here. This, is, this one's beautiful. Just step by step with the running back here. These plays are made all the time. The little swing passes out to the running backs. It's one of the hardest plays in the entire NFL to stop. And this is literally textbook, picture-perfect Tremaine Edmonds. How do you look at this? He is literally step by step in sync with the running back the entire time. When the ball gets there, so does Tremaine Edmonds. Laying an absolute boom. That's just literally picture perfect definition of how you want to play running backs out of the backfield. Look at Edmonds up here. He's still keeping an eye on this running back flying out of the backfield. Watch him. Oh, not just hits. Look how far away he is. That's Jarek McKinnon. I want to introduce you to Tremaine Edmonds. Now let's show him in the run game here. It's going to be a toss out. Watch Edmonds read the play. Watch him get through the blocks. Look at that speed. I mean, the guy flies. Orlando Brown, um, you're running this way. Tremaine Edmonds is going to get your running back here, buddy. Oh, yeah. Uh, and you missed that block too, Orlando. It's going to be Tremaine Edmonds here. It's going to be Derrick Henry. They're going to get to know each other as well right here. Look at this tackle. That's Derrick Henry. That's one of the biggest running backs in the game, but Tremaine Edmonds is the same size. It's another one of the things he's incredible at. He reads the play action very well. He doesn't fall for it. Sorry, Lamar. I know the ball's going over here. And I'm going to read it. And I'm going to make a play for a tackle for loss. What about when Lamar tries to run it himself? Which happened to us a lot last year. We remember the Jalen Hurts game. Sorry, he's faster than most quarterbacks as well. Lamar? No. Not today, buddy. 
not today. This play right here is incredible. This demonstrates not only his coverage ability, but also his awareness. Watch this here. There's a receiver here. There's a runner in the flat. His job is on the running back in the flat. Mac Jones is going to throw the ball out here. Tremaine Edmonds, look at the reaction time here. Sees it. Reaches those long 35-inch arms up in the air. Deflects the ball down. Beautiful. You want to see more of his versatility? Here we're going to see him on the edge. Oh, you try to block him with a running back? That's not a good idea. Oh, let's see that again. Uses his length and power to just throw that running back to the side. And then that's a sack. Whew. Another thing he's insane at, taking away throwing lanes. Watch this. Look at this one here. You have no throwing lanes here when this guy is in the area. Look at this is why he leads the league in deflected passes. Look at all this ground he's covering here. You want to try to throw a pass in this area? No, I'm going to go ahead and take a sack. I showed him chasing down Lamar. Let's watch him with Justin Fields here. This one's beautiful. Fields is going to try to run it out here. Edmonds is going to sniff it out. Oh my goodness. Luckily though, Fields is special. Fields is going to juke. Hit him with a little juke there. Still be able to get to the outside, but he can't make much of it. Watch here. This is what I want to show you though. Watch when he goes to run. Right here. Look at Edmonds and Fields. Stride for stride here. Fields takes off first. Look at Edmonds, the speed. When he gets there, Fields is like, oh, dang, I can't outrun this guy. I'm going to have to do something else. Oh, I'm going to have to hit him with this nasty juke. Look at this one. Uh, Fields is, oh, my goodness. Stop it, Justin. When he's not shedding blocks, he was also just beat blocks. Larry Borum, you got no chance here. Borum's trying to bear hug him from the backside here. Just no chance. We'll watch him coming in from the edge here. He does this a lot. He's versatile enough to move all around. Unblocked here. Bad play. Bad play design, Ravens. Lamar is in trouble. He's going to get that away somehow. Just throw it away. The other thing he does when he's coming in from the edge, though, you'll see it here. There's a reason why Eberflus loves this length. And Edmonds has it in spades. And he led the league in deflected passes. And you can see why. I mean, he's a nightmare. How, wh where do you throw this to? There's a lot of space there, but... Oh my goodness. And then I want to talk about how good he is at reading the play action. Watch him here. These mesh points you talk about. A lot of guys, the whole defense is rolling this way, falling for it while Fields is rolling out. Look at Edmonds. Nah, he sees it. He knows Fields is rolling out, rolling out here. Gets deep in his drop. Takes away this throw. And Fields has to throw the ball away. A lot of times with our past linebackers, when they had that mesh point here, our linebackers love to crash down, and that allows these slants behind him. Watch how he covers these slants. It's just absolutely beautiful. Like, if you try to slant right here, Tremaine Edmonds is here. He's going to pick the ball off or deflect it every time. And this is after a play action. And he gets deft with the receiver. You, you can't throw it to him. There's just no chance to make that play. This one's beautiful again. Watch him read Justin. He's going to know that it's flowing out here. If this guy tries to slant, he's right here. And he's going to get out here for this flat route as well. Watch his eyes here. I mean, just always on the quarterback. He's aware. He knows what's going on here. He's flowing with the play. He knows Pettis can come underneath right here. So he's not going to full sell outside. And he knows Justin Fields can run. 
So he's keeping his eyes on this guy right here. Just great awareness by a linebacker. I love everything about his game. I could have kept going. I watched so much tape on this guy. But then this video wouldn't have been out until April. And it probably would have been two hours long. Edmonds helped transform the Bills into an elite defense last year. They were the third best in the NFL defending over the middle of the field. Edmonds led the league in tipped passes and coverage grade. QBs had a rating of 50.9 over the middle of the field, which was lowest in the entire league. Tremaine Edmonds was a huge part of this. His ability to defend the middle of the field is elite. So the next question is, how does he fit the Bears? Matt Eberflus recently spoke about it, and he said that Edmonds will most likely play the mic. But as I've said before, Eberflus likes his mic and will to be interchangeable on any given play, so defenses can't uncover the mic, which is why it's so awesome that he got two middle linebackers that are both capable of playing the will as well. So first off, Edmonds is talented enough to play any of the three linebacker spots or even play safety or defensive end in my opinion. He will come in and be a leader of this defense just like he has been in Buffalo. He should play the Mike linebacker spot in the middle of the defense. Him and TJ Edwards role will be interchangeable at times, but Edmonds main job is in coverage and playing the run. What does Edmonds have that Roquan didn't? The biggest thing is length and pass coverage ability. Roquan had stiff hips and short arms, and while he's one of the best in the NFL at making plays in front of him, dropping into pass coverage was not his strength. Neither was using his long arms to break up plays or take away throwing lanes and tip passes. All of those things Edmonds excels at. Pretty much, Edmonds is a much better system fit than Roquan was. They also paid him less than Roquan somehow and got him and TJ Edwards for roughly the same price as the Ravens paid Roquan. Just more reasoning to love this move by Ryan Poles. It's not knocking Roquan either. He's an awesome linebacker with sideline to sideline speed, but he just doesn't offer the same skill set that Tremaine Edmonds brings to this defense. I believe with Edmonds roaming the middle of the field, it only upgrades our passing defense, which is only a couple of pass rushers away from being very scary and one of the best in the entire league. Bottom line is that Tremaine Edmonds has more upside than any free agent signing in my lifetime with the Chicago Bears. He is a 24-year-old athletic freak who has already played four seasons of nearly Pro Bowl level play. The sky is the limit for Edmonds, and it's not crazy to say he could go down as one of the best linebackers in Bears history if he stays in Chicago for the rest of his career. It's really not crazy to say that. 24-year-old pro bowlers with this kind of upside just don't hit free agency. This move has the potential to change this defense and be another big home run by Ryan Poles. I'm in shock that there's a large portion of our fan base still hating on Ryan Poles right now. He has turned the future of this franchise around and has me more excited for Bears football than I've ever been in my life. Signing Tremaine Edmonds was by far his biggest free agent signing yet. It's the biggest free agent signing in my lifetime as a Chicago Bears fan. When we signed Julius Peppers, he was 30 years old. And that's the only signing that even comes close. I cannot wait to see Edmonds play in a Bears uniform. My excitement for this offseason continues to grow. And Ryan Poles and Ian Cunningham continue to blow me away. Trust the process. I love what they are doing. This video took me a ton of work. I'm sorry it took so long to get out, but I watched so much tape on this guy. He is fun to watch. I have a bunch more coming. TJ Edwards All-22 next, and then continuous draft coverage as we are now less than 30 days away from the NFL draft. Stay tuned, and until next time, bear down. Thanks for watching Swift Sports Network. Like and subscribe for daily Chicago Bears updates. Knowledge over narratives.